Hello and welcome to free internship for mechanical engineers. Press tool design with CATIA V5. In this video lesson, I am going to explain the step 2 of the strip layout design procedure. In this step, we are going to calculate the punch dimensions. We are also going to calculate the die opening dimensions. I am sure all of you are very familiar with the engineering drawing of the power screw support bracket of the car scissor jack. Let's look at few key dimensions which are essential for the blanking operation. The thickness of the component is 3.15 millimeters. The length of the component is 62.5 millimeters. The width of the component is 24 millimeters and the corner radius is 1 millimeter. Now let's calculate the die opening dimension. We use a simple formula to calculate the die opening dimension. This formula is applicable only for the blanking operation. Please note this formula is applicable only for the blanking operation. The die opening dimension is equal to the component dimension. Let me explain. The length of the die opening is equal to the length of the component that is 62.5 millimeters. The width of the die opening is equal to the width of the component that is 24 millimeters. To summarize, the dimensions of the die opening will be same as the dimensions of the component. Now let's calculate the punch dimensions. We use a simple formula to calculate the punch dimensions. Punch shape dimension is equal to the component dimension minus 2 times the cutting clearance. Please note the cutting clearance is present all around the punch. I am sure all of you remember the cutting clearance. What is cutting clearance? Cutting clearance is the gap between the cutting edge of the punch and the cutting edge of the die. A proper cutting clearance is essential for the shearing operation to happen. Also, the cutting clearance for the blanking operation will be in the range of 6 to 8 percent of the sheet metal thickness. For precision blanking, we use 6 percent of the sheet metal thickness, whereas for ordinary blanking, we use 8 percent of the sheet metal thickness. We are designing the blanking die for the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. This component is not a precision component. So, we can use the cutting clearance for the ordinary blanking operation. Now, let's calculate the cutting clearance. Cutting clearance is equal to 8% of the sheet metal thickness. That is 8% into 3.15 millimeters, which is equal to 0.252 millimeters. Now, let's calculate the punch dimensions. The length of the punch is equal to the component length minus 2 times the cutting clearance that is 62.5 minus 2 into 0 0.252 that is 61.996 millimeters. The length of the punch shape is equal to 61.996 millimeters. Now let's calculate the width of the punch. Punch shape width is equal to width of the component minus 2 times the cutting clearance that is 24 mm minus 2 into 0 0.252 which is equal to 23.496 millimeters. That is, the width of the punch shape is equal to 23.496 millimeters. After the blanking operation, a cutout or an opening is formed on the sheet metal strip. What will be the dimensions of this cutout or opening? The dimensions of the cutout or the opening formed on the sheet metal strip will be same as the punch dimensions. To summarize, for the blanking operation, please note this is applicable only for the blanking operation. For the blanking operation, the die opening dimension will be same as the component dimension. The punch dimension will be equal to the component dimension minus 2 times the cutting clearance. The dimension of the cutout or the opening on the sheet metal strip will be same as the punch dimension. That's all in this video lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the discussion forum. 
If you are watching this video on YouTube, do comment your questions. Thanks.